In 2016, on Ethereum, the DAO smart contract got stolen hundreds of millions of Ether. Hackers use a technique called a re-entrancy attack. If you're a smart contract developer, that's very important to understand how it works. So in this video, I'm going to explain you what is a re-entrancy attack and how you can protect against it using the Open Zeppelin framework. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach how to become a blockchain developer and get your first blockchain job. First, let's understand how this will work. So here we have two smart contracts. First, the victim smart contract, that's my contract. And the attacker smart contract that is going to perform the attack. So let's say that my contract holds some token on behalf of some other addresses. And it's possible to withdraw this token with the withdraw function. So you call the withdraw function, you specify the amount of token that you want to withdraw, and then there's going to be some logic to make sure that your balance of token is enough. Then it's going to send you the amount of token that you want to withdraw. Then it's going to call a function on the receiving address. And then it's going to decrease the internal balance of token. So here's the problem. When we call on receive, so here we're going to go to the attacker smart contract. So here there is an internal variable to make sure that we limit the number of attack we do. So here we enter the if statement, we increment the scan variable, and we're going to call again the residual function of my contract. So here the execution is going to come back to the residual function. And now the check for the token balance is going to work because, because at this stage of the execution, we haven't executed the part of the logic that decreased the balance. So this is going to work. We're going to send again the same amount of token, even though this address might not have enough token to, to restore all of this. And we're going to call again on receive. So on receive, it's going to be executed again. And again, we're going to call withdraw, etc. And we're going to do it until the count variable reach uh, nine. Oh, by the way, here, this is not time. This is count, sorry. And at the very end, this part here will be executed, decrease the balance. But at this time, it will be too late because the attacker will have already withdrawn a lot of token from my contract, even though it doesn't own all, the, all of these tokens. So we need to find a way to prevent the attacker smart contract to call back inside the same function withdraw. And actually, we can do this easily with the Open Zeppelin framework. So here is the GitHub repo of Open Zeppelin. So we're going to go inside the contracts directory, then inside the utils directory. And the spot contract we want is re-entrancy guard. So let's click in it. And so a re-entrancy guard can protect us against the vulnerability I just explained. So you need to inherit from it. Then there is a constructor. So you need to call this constructor. And then there is a modifier that you need to attach to each function that you want to protect against any re-entrancy attack. And so this modifier uses a Boolean variable to make sure that this function wasn't already called. If you ever done some low level programming like C or C++ in particular, if you've done any multi-threading programming, that kind of logic is also used uh, to coordinate between uh, different threads. Anyway, that's just a detail. So let's see how we can use this in our smart contract. So first let's Note down the pass contract utils retrancy guard. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Then here, I'm going to import this smart contract. By the way, I've already installed Open Zeppelin in this project. If you don't know how to install Open Zeppelin, check out my video on the topic on this playlist about Open Zeppelin. So we're going to import Open Zeppelin contracts utils. And then what's the name of the contract already? Oh yeah, re-entrancy guard, okay. And now we're gonna inherit from it in my contract is re-entrancy guard. And since it has a constructor, we need to call this constructor. So here we're gonna declare our constructor and we call the constructor of re-entrancy like this, then make our 
construct republic and there is nothing in the body and after we can attach the modifier to the residual function so that is called non re entrant and with this you protect it if you want to keep learning how the open zippling framework can help you to write your solidity smart contract faster and safer you can check out this playlist i'll see you there